Hey, what's going on, everyone? I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that all of you are having a great day, and thank you for joining me for your daily dose of Star Wars. The Last Jedi's home release is here for those of you who are waiting to go pick up a physical copy of this film. You can now go do that and pick up all of the variants you wish to get all of the exclusive things that come with each version of this film. It seems like there's something in each Star Wars film that really pulls the fanbase apart from one another. For example, in the sequel trilogy, The Force Awakens tore us apart by dropping several hints at Rey's heritage and who she was that split us up for two years, arguing about who she was and why she was who she was and where she fits in relation to the other characters and what that means for the future of the story. And now, in The Last Jedi, has torn us apart for this version. It seems to come that the character of Luke, but it also seems that it's tearing us apart for the story in general and the way it was handled. Before the film came out, there was some worry about going around that The Last Jedi would be too similar to The Empire Strikes Back. And then once we got it, the complaint became, it wasn't similar enough to what we have known. And this is what divides us now. I'm sure Episode 9 will definitely have something like this for us to argue and debate over for the next couple of years, and that issue will likely be on whether the Skywalker Saga was wrapped up in a satisfying way or not. J.J. Abrams has a script complete for Episode 9, and the film starts its production schedule in June, but it's unclear yet whether some of the characters will return, with the only confirmed cast to return to the film are Daisy Ridley as Rey, John Boyega as Finn, Oscar Isaac as Poe, and Adam Driver as Kylo Ren. Everyone else is up in the air, including General Hux, Luke, Phasma, Rose, etc. Mark Hamill did speak with IGN about the original ending for the sequel trilogy was going to have in terms of the character Luke. Mark had seen a 12-page outline that George had written for episodes 7, 8, and 9, and the general outline, according to Joe Scribbles over at IGN, was that Lucas continued to hint at his ideas for a sequel trilogy over the years, from the familiar Luke, Leia, and Han returning as characters later in their lives. To the less familiar, a fractured empire has devolved into individual tyrannical worlds. However, the critical reception to his prequel trilogy apparently all but killed off Lucas's drive to continue with the series for some time. Mark had had the following to say about his character in terms of Episode 9 and the ending of the Skywalker Saga. I happen to know that George didn't kill Luke until the end of Episode 9 after he trained Leia, which is another thread that was never played upon in The Last Jedi. George had an overall arc. If he didn't have all of the details, he had sort of an overall feel for where the sequel trilogy was going. But this one's more like a relay race. You run and hand off the torch to the next guy. He picks it up and goes. Ryan didn't write what happens at 9. He was going to hand it off to, originally, Colin Trevorrow and now JJ. It's an ever-evolving, living, breathing thing. Whoever's on board gets to play with the life-size action figures that we all are. Mark has said in the director on The Last Jedi film, that comes with the Last Jedi release, that the character of Luke doesn't belong to him, and it's just loaned out to him, which is likely why he refers to the characters as the life-size action figures that they all are. When the franchise was bought by Disney, George had given Kathleen Kennedy the outline that he originally written for the next trilogy, and rumor has it that she threw it out, scrapped almost all of his ideas in favor of changing the story, and turning it into a franchise for the next generation to come. What do you guys think about all of this? Let me know in a comment down below. That wraps things up for me here in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. If you want to become a daily coffee drinker, hit that bell down there to receive a notification on your iOS or Android device. If you want to follow Star Wars Coffee on social media, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at SWCoffeeYouTube. I also have another channel that I started with my buddy Cameron, and we talk about the DCEU, which is my topic, and the MCU, which is his topic, and that channel is called YT Jitters for those of you who are into more than Star Wars. But until the next video, thank you guys for watching, keep loving Star Wars, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.